Welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. Today I will be showing you how to achieve this look. So yeah, stay tuned to find out how I did it. So to start off, I'm gonna moisturize my face using the Belief Aqua Balm. I'm also going to moisturize my lips by using whatever chapstick I can find laying around. Okay, so I did my eyebrows off camera because that's too stressful. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion for my eyelids, just the normal one, because I heard that one works best. And I'm I just use my finger because I'm not fancy or nothing. Get under the eye too and make sure to get around here and just get your whole eye over else. You just don't want to have one part looking good. You gotta have it all looking good. This is the Sephora's Minnie Mouse palette, you know. That I'm going to dip into put a bow on it and Daisy's my BFF. Just gonna put it right under the brow and down to the crease so it's easier to blend. using the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna use the color Raw Sienna and that's just gonna be a transition shade. I'm using the blending brush, the fluffy one, from the Everyday Makeup Brush Set thing from Sephora. I'm not sure what it's called, I love that. So I'm just gonna take that into the crease. Oh my god, there's a bug. <laughs> it just flew around my head. Next, we are going to go into Real Girl. Real Girl? I don't know. I'm... Same brush. And we're gonna go back into the crease and just like make it more bold. <laughs> Bad with words. Next, I'm going to, I'm gonna get the name of these brushes. Hold up, angled shadow brush. It's like a blending brush. Okay. Now I'm gonna use Cypress Umber and I'm going to go back into the crease. recording again so I'm just gonna tell you what I did I used the same brush and I went into antique bronze and put it right next to Cypress umber but on the lid not in the crease and then using the same brush again I went into love letter put that in the crease just a little bit to add flare and then I used this all-around eyeshadow brush or whatever and use primavera and put it on the lid towards the inner corner for a little bit of sparkle and pizzazz, as Mackenzie says. And then I curled my eyelashes and I'm really upset that it stopped recording, but that's life. Put some mascara on. And we're gonna stop with the eye makeup for right now, but we're gonna come back. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Wow, that's hard to say. And I'm gonna prime my face for like foundation and stuff. And it will also lock in the eye makeup we did so that doesn't move while we're doing our face, which is like so perfect. Looking cute. And the color. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Liquid Foundation in the color Babe Ivory. That's super cute. I don't have any fancy blenders, okay? I don't got money. Um, please don't make fun of my technique for putting on foundation or else I'll cry.
consistency whenever I do my face makeup. Like, I'm not extra precise or anything. I don't use special brushes for every step. I use one blender in my fingers and that's okay because I'm cute though. I'm using the Anastasia Cream Contour in the light shades, you know, and I'm mixing them all because why not? because I'm special, I don't know. Just a little. So I'm using this Estee Lauder bronzer that my aunt gave me, it's called Bronze Goddess. Just to like set, I guess, and just build it to what I like. Now, blush, I used to hate blush actually because whenever I was in cheer, we'd have to do like, our cheer makeup and it was crazy. It was like, do this bright red blush and white eyeshadow, bright red lipstick and my blush just always looks so bad. And I was like traumatized because I hated it. <laughs> oh my God, you make me blush. <laughs> Every time you like or subscribe, just kidding. Okay, now for the best part, highlight. Using cover effects in the color Moonlight. Looking cute. Okay, now I'm going to take more highlighter. I almost dropped it. More highlighter, I'm using the glow kit. You know, the ultimate glow one. You know, you know. Did you know that the thing actually go glows in the dark where it says glow kit? Yeah, you should. I'm using the color Sunray, which is cute. I'm using a blending brush. Don't judge me. Now we're gonna start back up with the eyes. We're going to go into. <laughs> I'm gonna go into raw sienna with this just normal eyeshadow brush. We're gonna go right under the eye. And when we do this, we're trying to make a shape, like this goes around. We're gonna make it look connected and not stupid. Now, a little bit of real gar, real gar, I don't know. Okay, now we're gonna go into Cypress Umber. This is where we're gonna kinda connect, like right in this spot. That's where we're gonna put it the most. Just so it looks more together. going to apply some falsies. I'm using the Plush Lashes by Sephora. So I'm gonna do that off camera because the stress is real. Okay, so I just put on some lashes, put on the lower lash mascara, and highlighted the inner corners of the eyes. You can choose to put on a nude lip or just throw on some lip gloss. Do whatever you want, it's your face. But I'm going to put on some Dark blue lipstick. This is Max Young Attitude. <laughs> now I'm gonna set it using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And that is the final look. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to see more videos. Bye.